ever found yourself writing the same validation logic over and over and over again? Or maybe you're dealing with some complex validation scenarios that Laval's built-in rules just can't handle. Well, you're in for a treat. Welcome to Laval Champs, where we uncover those brilliant Laval features that transform your development workflow. Today, we're diving into the powerful world of custom validation rules in Laval. So we'll discover how you can create your own reusable validation rules that are clean, maintainable, and perfectly tailored to your and your application needs. For today's video, we're going to use this YouTube URL validation demo project where you can provide specific YouTube URL and then we want to validate it. Currently, if we just provide a string, it will pass. And yeah, that's not what we want to do. So we're going to work on this. And before you say, wait, validating YouTube URL, when will I'm ever going to need something like this? I was exactly in this situation um, one or two years ago when I created Lara Stream as a platform that shows all the live streams of the Lara community, the upcoming ones. And there is a submit form and here you need to submit a valid YouTube URL of a video. And here I'm exactly doing this, but I reproduced this here in this little more fancy demo application for us for today. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. We have here a YouTube validation controller and an invocable controller, which is hit when we submit the form. And here we're currently validating the YouTube URL. We say that it is required and it should be a string. And we also have some nice custom messages. That's also, if you didn't notice, that's pretty cool that you can use this. So yes, more customized error messages are always good. Okay, so when we think about now our YouTube URL, there are a few, few things that we want to check. So first, we want to make sure it's a URL because currently, as we've seen, we can just provide anything. So we can easily do this in Laravel. We have those very cool validation rules, required string for now. And there's also another one really cool, by the way, here. Laravel idea shows us a lot of them. It's pretty cool. By the way, Laravel idea, the plugin for PHP Storm is now um, for free to use in PHP Storm. So give it a look if you haven't. It's really awesome. So we're going to use the URL rule. And let's go back here. So this will now fail. Now we need to provide a valid URL, test.com, and now it's passing. Perfect. But yeah, we probably don't want to stop there. So if we take a look at a valid YouTube URL, you can see here an example, um, youtube.com, watch, and then we have the ID of the video. So when we think about this, maybe there are a few other things that we can also check, which would make this form a little bit more powerful. So in this case, maybe the given validation rules from Laravel are not enough anymore. And maybe it's now a good time to create our first custom validation rule. So PHP artist and make, I have it already prepared here, make a rule, and I'm going to call this YouTube URL rule. Here we go, it was successfully created and under application rules, we now have our new YouTube URL rule, which is a class. And it's basically pretty simple. We only have this validate method and this decides and this defines if the validation fails or not. Currently, um, we also need to make use of this here. So let's get rid of this and let's use now our new YouTube URL rule. Okay, perfect. So again, we haven't provided anything here. So this means it will again just pass for anything we provide, but we need to provide something. Yeah, just a string will be enough to make this pass. Okay, so how are we going to do about this? Maybe let's check what we get in here. We get the attribute, which is the name of the field. In our case, that's YouTube underscore UL, I believe. Then we have the value, most important part. And then we have this fail closure. And this is very important because this is how we're going to fill the validation. So let's just say YouTube URL is not valid. And now whatever I provide here, we will see this error message. So it's pretty cool. So this means in here, we can now define if we want to show an error or if we want to move on. So I'm going to start by making our input string now to a string of our string helper here. And I'm just providing here the value. This should be enough for now. Okay. And again, now inside this method, we can just do anything. So for example, so similar to our URL rule, we can also say if our input string is not empty, but is not a URL, then we want to fail. YouTube URL 
is not a valid URL. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, this sh looks like it's working. Now let's use a valid URL, test.com, yeah, and it's passing. Okay, so far so good, but we are just back at the state which we had before. So what can we do now? We can also check now about the domain maybe inside the URL. So let's say if our input string does not contain Let's check again. I think it's just youtube.com. Yeah, it's not youtube.com. Then we want to fail. YouTube URL is not a valid YouTube URL. Okay, let's give this a try. Test.com. YouTube URL is not a valid YouTube URL. But if we change this to YouTube, I think it was just youtube.com. Yeah, now it's passing. Okay, cool. So we are already a bit closer here, but what I haven't shown you yet, so let's take a look at this scratch file here in PHP Storm. So these are all the valid YouTube URLs that you could have. So there are standard ones with youtube.com, then there are short ones with youtube.be, then there are the mod mobile ones, the embedded ones with additional parameters, with timestamps. So yeah, there are a lot of things that you can use as a video URL and I've learned it the hard way because I had to support, had to add support for all of them on my Lara streamers page. And now we also want to do this here. And again, since we're inside this method here, we can just use anything we like and I'm just going to replace here the content with something that I have already prepared. So I'm using here a regex pattern, pretty long one. Of course, I haven't written this myself. Some AI agent helped me with this. And yeah, this should be now smart enough to really take a look at those URL and make sure that only the correct ones are in here. Um, something pretty cool here is it also makes sure that the IDs are elf characters long because that's what the count of the IDs are. So that's pretty cool and pretty smart here. Now let's take a look. This should now fail. Yes. So watch and then the ID. And yep, this is now working and it should now also work if we change the domain to I think something like this. No, I think it's then. Is it just this? Yeah. So with the short ones, it's just youtube.be and then the ID. And yeah, just trust me, the other ones are now also working. So isn't this cool how we can do all of this now to create our own custom validation rule? And yeah, we can go even further. Let me show you something else. I have this YouTube URL, which currently is passing. But if we take a look at this, you can see that this is not available because this is not a YouTube video. So this means the format of the URL is correct, but this is not a video that is given on YouTube. So wouldn't it be cool if we could also check this somehow with our validation rule? And yeah, again, we can just do this. So let me bring in here a method that I've already prepared, which is called video exists. And here we're just checking, we're creating an embedded URL with the video ID, and then we're just making sure what we get back here. And now we can make use of this. This is how we get the video ID. And then I'm going to check if the video exists by providing the video ID. And then this YouTube video does not exist, I think is a good name. So let's take a look. We're getting now the video ID through our Redex pattern as well. And then we're making sure if the video exists and if not, we are going to fail here. Now let's take a look at this. Now this should fail. And if I change this to a lowercase, as you will see, this video is working because this is the latest one which I did on the Laravel channel. Okay, cool. So isn't it amazing how much we can do just with our own custom validation rule in Laravel? And yeah, this is just the beginning. You can also use translations. You can also get all the validation data from other fields here. So please make sure to check out the documentation for custom um, rules in Lava because there's a lot more that you can do, but I hope that I already could show you that this is super useful for your specific use cases for your applications. And there you have it. Custom validation rules are another powerful jam in the Lava ecosystem. I hope this helps you to write cleaner and more maintainable code. 
What level feature should we explore next? Drop your suggestions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like for more level gems. Until next time, happy coding.